I'm about to show you how thin people can get type 2 diabetes. It is true that most people with type 2 diabetes are overweight. However, 15% of people with type 2 diabetes are thin. Insulin resistance builds over time. Being thin on the inside doesn't mean we are thin on the outside. The problem with type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance. This is mainly a lifestyle issue. Let me show you how it works. You consume food, it breaks down into smaller molecules called glucose or blood sugar. Glucose is used by your cells for energy. However, in order to enter your cells, glucose needs a hormone called insulin. Insulin will open the cells to glucose. Without insulin, your glucose cannot enter the cells. And this is how your glucose spikes into your blood. You eat a breakfast with carbs, sugar, you have a big glucose spikes, and then it's gonna drop. And then another meal, another glucose spikes. And this keeps going on. And remember, whenever you have glucose into your blood, you also have insulin. So if you have too many glucose spikes, your insulin will remain high. Remember that insulin binds to the cells to allow glucose to enter the cells to provide energy to your cells. However, when the release of insulin is constantly high, it overwhelms your cells. They no longer respond to insulin. It means that the glucose can no longer enter your cells. More glucose means more insulin. More insulin means that your cells become insulin resistant. The extra glucose gets stored into your liver, which can lead to fatty liver disease. Insulin resistance can lead to prediabetes, and if not addressed, prediabetes can lead to type 2 diabetes. Extra glucose also gets stored in and around your internal organs. This is referred to as visceral fat. This is the fat inside your body. This is why you don't see it, and this is why some people can be thin and still have type 2 diabetes. All of this can be changed with proper lifestyle modification. 